Hi, I'm Jared Gardner, and this is another episode of 5-Minute Pathology Pearls, where I try in five minutes to teach you um, a little pearl about pathology. So what we're going to talk about today is CD31 and how it can stain histiocytes and sometimes even tumor cells in a non-specific fashion that does not indicate endothelial or vascular differentiation. Now, this is a high-grade uh, pleomorphic sarcoma. I think it was either a, a undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma or maybe a high-grade mix of fiber sarcoma. We weren't sure because we only had a partial um, specimen. And you can see from low power, this is a CD31. It had a lot of hemorrhage in it, and so there was some concern um, by the original pathologist that maybe it could represent an angiosarcoma. It does not. And you can see here that there are lots of vessels, but these are just vessels in the background of the tumor. And um, I'm working on a video about uh, vascular um, staining, immunostains and vascular lesions. And I have um, uh, another, ex uh, um, some other um, uh, stains from this case that I have in that video. I'll add a link in uh, whenever that video is done and ready. But you can see that uh, tumors can be highly vascularized and in the background you can see the crisp, dark, dark staining um, of the endothelial cells of the normal vessels that are or the kind of feeding vessels that are feeding the tumor. In between there are tumor cells as well as histiocytes and look at this. They have kind of a weak, let me get it in focus here, a weak patchy granular staining and this is normal in histiocytes. Histiocytes often stain with CD31 and it's usually this kind of granular, weak staining. So the way to do this is if you're wondering, is this vascular marker positive in tumor cells or is it just kind of blush, this kind of nonspecific staining that you can see? See here, like a, a, these are ugly tumor cells, but a lot of the staining is actually around in between those tumor cells. So little histiocytes that are filling in the spaces because again, this tumor had a lot of hemorrhage in it. So the way to, the easy way to do it, whether you're using CD31 or ERG, whatever vascular marker, look at the staining you have in your tumor cells and then compare it to the intensity of the staining in the vessels. Usually angiosarcomas or other vascular tumors, with some exceptions um, depending on the tumor, but angiosarcoma specifically is going to usually be strong diffuse positive on CD31 and on ERG. CD34 occasionally can be lost in angiosarcomas and there are a couple other exceptions like CD31 can be negative in some Kaposi sarcomas, uh, pseudomyogenic hemangioendothelioma is CD31 positive but CD34 negative, so there are some exceptions. But Anyway, the point here is that you need to recognize that this, even this amount of staining, this is not indicative of endothelial differentiation. This is histiocyte staining as well as some blushy staining on tumor cells, and it's nowhere near as strong or as crisp as the background endothelial cells in the adjacent um, blood vessels. So you can always use those normal vessels in the background as your internal control if you're wondering if a, if a, a vascular stain of CD31 is positive. And some of these are a little darker because they have hemocytorin in them, but they're still nowhere near as crisp and dark as the endothelial cells in those vessels, okay? So that's the easy way. If you're really struggling, if your 31 is really blushy and it's making you uncomfortable, then add on an ERG and even a CD31. You can add other vascular markers if you're really struggling to know, but the important thing is to not over call something like this as angiosarcoma. So CD31 can be picked up in a weak granular manner by histiocytes and occasionally by tumor cells. That's the five minute pathology pearl for this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button below and leave comments about what you think about this video and other ideas for five minute pathology pearl videos that you'd like me to try to do in the future. Thanks so much for watching.